All right, hello fourth graders. Um, so today, um, while you're listening to this, we are going to be talking about um, Nebraska and its ecosystem. So um, before we begin um, and talking about Nebraska and its ecosystems, um, I want you guys to think about um, what you think or what you picture Nebraska to look like. Um, when you think of it in your mind. So I want you to draw a picture or write about it right now um, so you can pause the video um, while you do that. All right, so after you've done that, um, thinking of um, how you've seen Nebraska um, and its land before, um, real quick, we're going to talk about what an ecosystem is. So we've probably talked about this before, um, but I want you guys to um, write down what you've um, or what you think an ecosystem is or what you know it is. So um, write that down right now. Um, so just as a refresher, an ecosystem is a group of related things that forms a community of organisms. So um, all of these things are put into um, a specific area and they all work together to um, make this system work. So um, it's a good um, teamwork thing as well, um, everyone working together. Um, so yeah, so specifically in Nebraska, there's four different kinds that we're going to look at. Um, so they are forests, grasslands, wetlands, and rivers. So um, think about those really quick. Um, and the first one we're going to look at is forests. So I'm pretty sure you guys have seen some forests before. Um, it's usually with a lot of trees and a lot of like different grasses and bushes. Um, so yeah. So right now, I want you guys to think of um, any other kinds of organisms that might make up a forest. So write down two to three, um, and then we'll continue. So um, you might have written down trees, bushes, shrubs. Um, those are all um, in there as well. But we also have to think about um, like the animals or the insects or the birds or the snakes. Um, there's a lot of living things that live in forests. Um, if you've been to any state parks, um, you might have seen like raccoons or squirrels or deer. Um, my hometown, I lived near a state park, so um, we always saw a lot of those. So um, we definitely saw a lot of different kinds of organisms in the forest. Um, but again, insects, they make a big impact, and then flowers as well. So next one is the wetlands. So um, you might not have seen any of these wetlands before, um, but it's just an area of wet and spongy soil. Um, so like you can see in the pictures, um, there's a lot of sitting water and a lot of grasses. So um, like we did with forests, um, write down two or three things that you guys um, can think of about other organisms that live in wetlands. And then we'll continue after you do that. So similarly, like in the forest, they have a lot of different grasses, mammals, birds, insects, um, and then more specifically to wetlands, um, they have some fish, they have turtles, and then they also have these more specific plants called cattails. Um, and then actually humans play a big part in the wetland ecosystem. Um, so sometimes people might go fishing in the wetlands, um, that affects the ecosystem, um, and yeah. All right, the third one is grasslands. So kind of how the name um, gives it away is just a large area of grass. Um, so the picture on the left, um, that might be more of what like Western Nebraska might look like. Um, but here in Northeast Nebraska, this is a lot of the times what the grasslands look like, um, that bright green grass. So um, write down two or three things that of organisms that you think live in the um, grasslands. So yeah, grasses, plants, um, mammals, birds, insects, trees, um, and then snakes are a big one too. Um, so, and then mammals, you might think of like ground squirrels or prairie dogs. Um, those kinds of animals live there. Um, and then our last one is rivers. So, um, this is a pretty easy one. Um, like I said, when I when I was growing up, we lived near a state park and we lived near the Missouri River. So um, I got to spend a lot of time around the river. So I got to see a lot of different organisms that live there. Um, but there's also a lot of smaller rivers throughout the whole state of Nebraska too. So 
Um, it's just a big stream of flowing water, um, and they're usually pretty big in size too. So um, write down those things that you think that live in the river ecosystems. And those would be fish. Obviously, they live in the rivers. Um, and then turtles. Um, there's also underwater plants, um, birds, frogs, trees, moss, and then like the wetlands. Um, humans are also part of this ecosystem as well. Um, they fish out of the river. Um, they might go boating, tubing. You guys might have done that in the summer with your families. Um, so right now I want you guys to... Um, Right now, tell about a time when you have seen one of these ecosystems before. So maybe you guys took um, a weekend vacation to a river and you might have went boating. Or maybe you went to visit um, maybe family out in western Nebraska and you might have seen some grasslands. So I want you guys to write down um, five sentences um, that tell about a time when you've seen one of these ecosystems in real life. And once you guys are done with that, this is the end of the lecture. Um, so bring these questions um, that you've answered to class tomorrow. Um, and then we'll do an activity in class. See you guys tomorrow.